Welcome to the Tradex Foods 3 Minute Market Insight. A fast fact to start your week. Some salmon pricing for pails was discussed at the 2012 European Seafood Exposition in Brussels. Chinese processors are saying they are willing to buy at 3100 per metric ton or $1.40 a pound for new season fish. This is delivered to China. Although processors in Alaska expect pricing to be slightly lower than 2011 pricing, it is not expected to be this low. Suppliers feel that the pricing more reflects residual 2011 inventory rather than new production. Only time will tell. This week we'll focus our updates on a, key, on, on a few key species, Atlantic cod, haddock and pink salmon. Firstly, let's take a look at Atlantic cod and haddock. The questions weighing heavy on the minds of many buyers is whether the haddock and Atlantic cod markets have stabilized. In October of last year, the joint Norwegian-Russian Fisheries Commission agreed on a quota of 751,000 tons for Atlantic cod and 318,000 tons for haddock. Atlantic cod is up 48,000 tons, while haddock is up 15,000 tons compared to the 2011 quota. Both quotas were based on advice from the International Council for the Exploration of Sea ICES, and were based on a healthy stock assessment. In Iceland, the 2011 and 2012 total allowable catch is 177,000 tons. For Atlantic cod, up 17,000 tons, and 45,000 tons for haddock, down 5,000 tons. In summary, there was a 65,000 ton increase in the Atlantic cod quota and a 10,000 ton increase in haddock quota. How does this translate to, market, to the marketplace? In past years, pricing would be climbing this time of year due to slight to moderate shortages of raw material. By May, prices would be peaking as suppliers waited for Icelandic summer production to begin and prices to soften. This year, however, there has not been a shortage of raw material. Secondary processors are able to purchase raw material easily without the usual competition for, for the recourse that has existed in the past, or for the resource that has existed in the past. The poor market conditions in the EU combined with surplus raw material have many worried that the prices may destabilize. One factor that may help keep haddock and cod prices stable is the North American Pacific halibut pricing. As halibut prices soar, food service operators are removing halibut from their menus and replacing it with other whitefish. Haddock and Atlantic cod sales in North America are increasing quickly and growth is expected throughout 2012. Now let's move on to pink salmon. There have been recent reports that speculate Chilean Atlantic suppliers will have surplus production in quarters 3 and 4. We touched on this in both episodes 78 and 79. Buyers are preparing for possible price adjustments on wild salmon if the Atlantic prices tumble with this surplus production. One fish that is likely going to hold its value despite competitive influences surrounding Atlantic prices is pink salmon. The driving factor that will bolster the pink salmon value is the canned market. Canned pink stocks are depleted and raw material is non-existent at this point. A low estimation of 2012 canned pink production is 2 million cases of tall cans and as high as 3 million cases. To produce 2 million cases of tall cans, canners will need approximately 48 million pounds of can-ready fish for tall can production alone, about 80 million pounds of round fish. Global supply of pink salmon for 2012 will be less than 350 million pounds. Up to 50% of this production will likely go into cans. This leaves limited inventories for retort packers, smokers, filleters and portioners. It is very likely that 2012 pink salmon prices will remain strong and supply short. Thank you for joining me for the Tradex Foods 3 Minute Market Insight. This is Robert Ryerson. Buy smart and eat more seafood.